People who have lost loved ones to opioids and political and health leaders are calling for more resources in the fight against that crisis. And WGN Sean Lewis is at Cook County Health with details. Good morning. At Cook County Health, a new push in the opioid crisis. We need our leaders in Springfield to prioritize human lives over policies. Chelsea Laliberti Barnes is among those here, calling for more resources in the fight against opioids as the number of overdoses and deaths continue. I miss him dearly. Her mission began 16 years ago with the death of her brother, Alex. We didn't know enough. We didn't have the skills, the tools, the knowledge that we have now to have intervened. In 2015, just nine years ago, Cook County had fewer than 100 fentanyl related deaths. Last year, opioid deaths topped 1,800. The vast majority of these deaths, 90% of them, involve fentanyl. Americans are dying of fentanyl poisoning every single day. Congressman Raja Krishnamurthy says the supply of illicit fentanyl must be stopped and says most comes from China. They are kind of masked as legitimate commerce, companies that do legitimate business in the U.S., and then they have a side hustle of exporting illicit fentanyl. He says the president recently signed the Fend Off Fentanyl Act, allowing for sanctions to be placed on those companies and foreign governments responsible for those who have lost loved ones. It just seems like we just feel powerless almost so to take anything on, but we need to. Maria counts his son. Josiah died because of opioids. His story is the inspiration for this documentary named In His Memory. She now pushes for local leaders to change zoning laws to allow for treatment centers. We need places that, that they have that they can get into community. The opposite of addiction is connection. These things are valid, they work. It is community leading much of the effort in Cook County where opioid deaths lead all others. Surpassing the number of homicides and car accidents combined. It is a sobering statistic for those meeting today and looking to change the narrative on a public health crisis. We have a massive rainy day fund here in Illinois, but we're in a monsoon. We cannot continue to double down on punishing people. We have to provide them with access to care and treatment and focus on saving their lives. And we will be posting more about the Fend Off Act and some resources and how you may be able to get help for you or someone you love when it comes to opioid use at WGNTV.com. At Cook County Health tonight, Sean Lewis, WGN News.